Hello, my name is Elle McCann and I am from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Wilmington, North Carolina. And in this video, we are going to go through adding your Instagram feed to your website homepage. So there are a couple different ways of how you can add this in. We are working with Shopify. So some of the Shopify themes actually have that already built in where you can just add in your username and it is ready to go for you. However, our theme will hop over to our storefront. We are using the minimal theme, which is a free theme provided by Shopify. So what we want to do is we want to actually add that Instagram feed right here underneath the featured items and for that to automatically update. So anytime we add a new Instagram photo, it's going to automatically update on the website. So my favorite way of doing that is to do it through this website called Snap Widget. So it is actually 100% free for their basic widget and they do have other ways for you to upgrade and um, it's a monthly cost then. However, their basic widget's also really nice to use just right off the bat and you can test it out first to make sure you like it. So we are going to come through here and we're going to customize our widget. So first thing, you would either choose to display a username or a hashtag. So if you have a hashtag for your company that you've set up, you could enter that here so that other people's photos that use that hashtag show up, or you could enter your username. So we are going to enter our username, and we are going to use Rifle Paper Company. So this is the company that I've pulled a lot of our sample photos from for both products and you can see them here in the slideshow images. So we are going to continue on with staging it and we are going to use Rifle Paper Company. So I am just grabbing this username and then we're going to come back to Snap Widget and I'm going to enter that into the username field. So it instantly takes away the hashtag because you can only have one or the other. You can't do both. And then there are a few types of different widgets that they have. The really great thing is so that there's ways for you to customize it here. However, before you're finished, you can also hit a preview. So let's go through and see what the previews of these look like. So first, let's look at the grid widget type. So I'll just hit preview. Okay, so this is an actual grid of them. However, we can come in here and you can change the layout so we can say that we want it five pictures long by one so we can make it a little bit skinnier for us and that looks really good so we can come in and customize that however you want there's also the option of boards so let's preview that and this gives a little additional information over what your description is as well as your your name which is cool it's a nice option see the next one. Next is scrolling. So this would be constantly updating and scrolling through. So let's hit preview. And you can see that that's just scrolling through really nicely. And it would show not just, you know, the, the five that you have set up to show, but it would go through, you know, your hundred that you have, as long as you're still sitting on that page, you'll see it go through. And you can also skip through. So that's a nice option as well. And then we have slideshow. So this is going to be really good if you are doing this on like a sidebar for your blog or on like your collections page in your Shopify store because it's just one box and it's just going to be a lot skinnier. So this is going to be great in a sidebar area and it'll just cycle through like that. Okay, and one more option. We have a map. So then we can come here and you can see the preview again. And that's going to show if you have photos from different areas, um, which could be kind of cool if you are based around the world. That would be a really cool option to have. Um, but we are going to choose, let's see, let's do grid. So we will keep the default options of a 125 thumbnail size image. So you can of course change that to be really big images. We're going to keep it at that. And let's see, we're going to try the five by one, you know, four photo banner or border. Um, and again, you can come in here and, and hover everything. So the share buttons, uh, let's preview this and I'll show you what that is. The share buttons is when you hover over it, having this Facebook and Twitter pop up. 
and then they can share it straight on those networks. So that's a cool option to add as well. And of course, if they clicked on the actual picture, it would take them to Instagram. So we'll keep that as yes, and we wanna make sure that we change this responsive to yes as well. Okay, so then we're going to just hit Get Widget, and we're going to copy this code. Okay, great. So now we are going to actually go to our Shopify store backend. So here I am, and we are under online store and themes. So here is our theme, the minimal theme that I said that we're using. And a lot of times, whenever you're customizing your theme, you would actually hit the customize theme button. However, this time we actually have to add that snap widget code that we just copied, and we have to put that on our home page. So to do that, we are going to click on the dots and then hit edit HTML and CSS. So you can definitely mess up your store here if you don't know what you're doing. So I would definitely follow in on the, the different areas that we're going through. Otherwise, you don't wanna mess anything up and you can also always make a duplicate copy of your theme just in case. So since we wanna show this on our homepage, we are going to hit index.liquid. Now every theme is going to be different. So this theme, is calling out all of the different sections on the home page in individual snippet files. However, other themes may show all of the code on this page and it would be really long. So a lot of this is kind of some trial and error to see where to put it at. So we may have to do a few different things. So let's go through. So let's see on our front end, we want it to show up underneath the featured items. So we are going to, let's see, there's the slideshow and then there's the items. So it has it pieced out into sections. So let's just try this first one after the second section of code, which may be the products after the products, but we will see. So we've pasted in that code that we got, and I'm gonna hit save over here on the right hand side. And then we're going to go to our front end of our store and just refresh. Okay, so it looks really cool with the five photos, but it's not really showing up in the correct spot. We don't want it to be right under here. We want it to be underneath the featured items. So let's come in here and let's remove that. And I'm gonna paste it beneath the third section. And I'm just gonna hit save. And let's come back here and refresh. Great, so now we see that we have our slideshow, our featured images, and our Instagram feed. So if we click on that again, it's gonna pop up a share dialog box. But if you click on the actual photo, it'll take you to where you can see the photo on Instagram here. So this is part of the basic of, it shows you the ads. However, for a small monthly fee every month, it'll actually take you to your Instagram page and you can have it showing right from there and so that's a nice option as well so they don't have to click then on your your profile to get to that so if you did want to do that option I'm back here on snap widget you can choose to try out the pro widget and you'll have different pricing structures that you can choose from so so far I mean I think our widget looks great of having the different images. You could go back and you could choose to do a slideshow or add more pictures so we can go in and let's sample that real quick. So let's say instead of five images that we wanna show 10. So this is gonna make it a little bit smaller. And let's preview that. So that's a little bit smaller, but we have the responsive thing checked over here, which is going to make it adjust to the size of the screen. So let's go ahead and just get the widget and see how that adjusts automatically since we've hit responsive. So I'm gonna copy this, and I just need to paste it over our old code. So I'm gonna delete the old code, put it in, and hit save. And now we'll go to the back of our store. Yeah, let's see. Great, so that this is showing 10 images now, and remember whenever we previewed it, it was teeny, teeny, tiny. However, since we have that responsive thing checked, it automatically is sizing them appropriately, which you definitely wanna choose 
responsive so that means whenever it is being viewed on a phone or tablet device it's going to scale down to the correct size and again we still have that functionality so we could also come in here and we could put a title um, how there is here right above it so let's go in real quick to the back end of our store and right above this area I'm just going to come in and put a heading tag so I'm going to choose an h2 tag so it's just the bracket h2 and then bracket backslash h2 again to open and close that and then I'm just going to type in a phrase here for us So just a, a promotion as well, and I'm going to come in here and add a style. So we want to get it to center automatically like it is here. So to do that, I'm just going to do style equals, and then two quotes, and inside that I'm going to say text align center. So you, here you can see exactly how I've typed that up, and that's going to center our text. So this is just that heading tag that we're adding in, and let's hit save. And we can view how it is on our store now. Come back here, and we'll hit refresh. Great, and so now we see it showing up. It's in the center, just like that, just to be consistent, and it looks great. I think it's really promoting Instagram, and you can come in here also and add your Instagram tag or link to it from here, but that looks really great, and so that's how you would add in Instagram really quickly to your site, and we did it to the home page. However, you could add it, you know, if you want it down here to the footer to where it's permanent on every page. You can add it to the collection page or product or your blog sidebar. There's really a lot of different options and honestly you can use each of their different styling methods, whether it's slideshow or scrolling or grid like how we have here. And you can use it in different ways throughout your site. So again, that slideshow could be cool if you had one image changing here or in your sidebar area. So there's a lot of different options, and again, there's a few different pricing plans as well. However, we are just using the, the free one, so it works out really nicely. Awesome, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and stay tuned and subscribe for more.